This is um, Mr. Holman, and today I'm kind of walking you through two pieces of software. So I'm doing this as though this were a student example, so we'll just kind of read through. You're going to either build a Google Earth project or a tour creator um, of professional and college sports teams in Ohio. You're going to have to provide at least three points in your project and tell me three facts about each place you are visiting. And you should also include an image or a video. Um, You'll notice down here I kind of gave a chart that I would do with kids, like you fill in your places, what are the facts you find out before you start building. So in a student doing this, I would give them something like this to fill in. Um, I wouldn't have necessarily put these, I was just trying to make this go a little faster. A couple quick things about the software, and I'll show you each example in a second. Google Earth projects can only run on Google Earth. That link can be shared with anyone, um, and it auto automatically loads into your Chrome Google Earth version. So you can share, um, if a teacher builds it, they can share it with the whole class, or if a student builds it, they can share the link with everybody. Tour Creator is a little different. It's made for VR, okay? And it's best seen if you use VR goggles, but it will run on a computer screen. Um, the link can be seen on a computer, but to view in VR, you have to have your computer and cell phone on the same network. That means Wi-Fi. And then you have to share the VR to your expedition to view it on your phone with goggles. It's way cooler in the goggles. So I'm going to show you the two, and then this tutorial will be divided and timestamped. So if you don't want to learn about Google Projects, you can skip to Tour Creator. Um, this is a Google Project a kid made. Um, so she went to 16 places, and the title of hers was called Steps to Democracy. So if we go to her second place, it's a tour where you fly around the world and see. So they were required to do five plate or eight places, and they end up, this girl ended up doing 16. But you can build your own video. That video directly plays in Google Earth now. So she created this video. We don't need to watch it all, just the idea. Um, you can also add imagery. So you can add images, and then you can write descriptions. That's the same no matter where you go. So if you go to the Ohio State House, again, I'm not going in order of her tour, but you can fly around the world and see where events and things are happening. So she talks a little bit about the local branch of government and who's in charge. So this is Google Earth um, Tour Builder, excuse me, Google Earth Projects. Projects are going to be found down here in this icon, and I'll show you that in a few minutes. Tour Creator, when you go to it, looks very different. You're creating virtual tours, so this is one I built. And when you go into it, um, this is actually it. This is made for, again, VR goggles. You share it here. And when you do share it, you can share it to your expedition, so you can get it on your phone. I'll go through that later. The way this works is each dot, again, you can zoom around in 360 of Notre Dame. But these mean they're images, and when you click them, it gives you a write-up about what that is. There's the rose window, and you can see it blown up. You can also build multiple scenes. So inside this, you can go to a different scene. So now I'm inside Notre Dame Cathedral. And again, I can click. It blows up the picture, and now it's talking about the altar at Notre Dame. Now, I didn't give any information. I just made it big. But that's kind of a tour creator. So those are the two we're going to look at. Um, so I've decided to follow the directions, and I'm going to take us to the Great American Ballpark. I'm going to do Google Earth first, so I'm going to create a new project. Um, it's a create a new project, and I would just call it um, Ohio Sports, let's say. I could write a description. I don't need to for now so that we can kind of get this. There is a tutorial here that Google Earth will show you, but I kind of know what I'm doing, so I'm just going to build from it. So I'm going to search to add a place, and I want to go to Great American Ballpark. I hope that's the one in Cincinnati. <clears throat> yeah. Hey, we're going right into Cincinnati. It's Great American Ballpark. So the first thing I can do is I can add this to my project. I'm going to call it Great American and save. Now I can edit the place. Um, I'll show you once what that means. If I want to edit, I can get a certain view I want of the ballpark. Okay, so I can move it around or provide different information. And there's a, a styling place there, but let's put this dot on a star, right? And I'm going to now go back. And this place, um, when it pops up, I can add it to my project. I've added it, and I can save. That place, whoops, I did it twice. I can go in and edit 
So now I can go in and I can start to add things over here. I can replace any information. I can put my own pictures in. So I could go grab pictures. There's a Google um, search built in. So I could do the reds. It said to find some images or video. So I could do just the reds logo and select it. It's now built into my project. Notice I could also do um, a YouTube. So I could do the Cincinnati. <clears throat> Oh, let's see if they have one on Great American. Oops. I guess I can't spell. But you probably already knew that. Um, oh, we don't want to discuss. And, well, I can just put this in. Now, again, I would have to watch these. Tour of Great American Ballpark. And I can select it. So now my thing has a video tour built in. I can write my facts. First, uh, professional. baseball team All right I could add different markers I don't really mess with this too much and I could pick my view what view I want so I might say I want a view I kind of like the view it doesn't matter where we pick so I'll say capture this view that's saved <clears throat> and now I've got my first place is this the one I did because I want to make sure I delete the one I didn't okay so I made a mistake I did it twice so I'll get rid of it the next place we're supposed to go on our tour, right? So I want to add a, um, a new place. I'm going to go to um, Ohio Stadium. <clears throat> and again, I'm not going to add all these places to the project. I'm just giving you the idea. Once you learn how to do one, you can do whatever. So I add it to my project, right? I can edit the place. And now I'm going to get this information. I can replace the images I want. So again, instead of this, I might do Ohio State football. I can see the YouTubes pop up. I can also upload my own YouTubes. So let's just pick this and highlight real, right? And I could add pictures again, go back, and I could add pictures of Google search. I can take my own photos and upload those if I have them. Um, we'll just do a quick YouTube search. I should have done stadium, but I could pick this, you know, and you can add as many, I think it's up to 25 of these. Again, my fact, uh, home of the Buckeyes. Now, again, if we were doing this for a class, it would be much more specific, more detail, whatever you want, but you get the idea. You can bold, italicize, do some stuff. You can add links in here. So I could put a link to Ohio State football. Again, by clicking link, I can go to wherever I want. So I can take them. I can even create it in the document. But right now, I just take them to a website. So they could be they could go read something off, off my project. Again, I can pick different icons if I want. And then that's about it. I'm good. If I capture this view, now I've got it saved. If I were to go and view my presentation, right, I've only got two, I'm supposed to do at least three, but I think this gives you enough. It's gonna start by flying us to where we started and we're back in Cincinnati. It's the view I picked. Um, my video will play, so the videos will play directly in there. Um, I don't need to have it play. It's got my text I wrote. It is still a live YouTube, um, like Google Earth, so I can zoom in and look at things if I wanted, or I could come look at the skyscrapers and see downtown. I go to my next place, it just automatically flies me there. So this is the concept of a Google Earth tour. Those are the basics of how to build. We got that. Tour Creator is a little different. <clears throat> so in Tour Creator, you get started. This is gonna work slightly different. When you get to Tour Creator, I'm going to make a new one. And then again, I'm just going to call it Sports Ohio. I could write a description. I could add an image here. Um, again, if I select image, this is different. You have to have screenshots. I didn't take any good screenshots, so I'm not real sure what this is, but we'll just slap it up in there. Um, okay, it's kids doing something. It's really not relevant, but it will work for what we want. This explains how to get it to your Google Expeditions. I'm going to skip that for now. Um, and I'm just going to put three locations, right? Dot, 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 dot. Whoops. So I could write whatever I wanted. This would be the intro, what you would read when you start. And when you create, it gives you a street view. It always wants you to pick the place. So what was it called? Great American 
ball. Why do I always spell that wrong? Oh, no, I must put them backwards. Okay, so now it's inside the stadium. It's got me inside. So I'm looking here. Here's the stadium. I can take this and drag it to the outside of the stadium, right? And I can look around the stadium. Um, I can be wherever I want. This one lets you do a little more. So maybe I like this. I wanted the steamboat. I'm too close to the steamboat to see it. Um, so maybe we zoom in more and we can see a little bit more. Maybe I want to stand at home plate. So now I'm standing at home plate now to be able to scroll, but this is a concert going on in it. So I don't know. We're just going to pick it anyway. So I'm going to add this scene. Once I add the scene, um, I can put a title. So uh, Great American a Ballpark. This is where it gets interesting. You add your description here. So your facts will go in here. Um, first, PRO. I played the first night game, all that kind of stuff. What I can do is I can also, um, it's kind of hidden, but I can add a point of interest inside here and I can move that point of interest to here. And on this point of interest, I could say the steamboat. I can add images again, so I can overlay an image. I could go get that. I would have to go get them and screenshot them before I could put them in, which I don't have, so I'm not going to do that at this moment. But you'd have to screenshot them and then select the image from your Google Drive if you're using Chromebook or if you're using something else from your desktop. Um, again, I don't really have, again, I'll just use the same picture, um, but it'll overlay. That means that image will pop up big like the Rose window did. And I can say add. So now in when we if we go to a start view, well, we'll add another one. Didn't I call, uh, let's call this, uh, I should have put Steamboat here. So I put a title in, and I can have more points of interest. So I can go, by the way, I click it, so that image appears. Now in 3D, you would screw, you'd be able to, in VR, you'd be able to see this big. You can have written text, and it'll appear so they can read it. You can add as many points of interest inside one thing as you want. So in this case, if I wanted three facts, I might add three things. That's fine. So I now want to add a scene. So I'm going to add a new scene in this. The new scene takes me back where do I want to go now. So I can go to Ohio Stadium. And there it is, Woody Hayes Drive. So it's going to fly me directly to the stadium. Once again, I'm in the stadium. So I can zoom in or zoom out. I can move my guy to multiple points of view. So let's put them way up here on the top, see if we're still, oh, we got inside it somehow. We're actually inside Ohio Stadium, so that's not really where we want to be. We'll be on the 50-yard line. So now we're in the stadium, kind of looking. Maybe this is the view I want. Unfortunately, a cloudy day, but we'll add it. So I'm going to add this scene, and it's Ohio Stadium. <clears throat> this is a picture by someone, so you can use it. Now, notice I don't want the starting view looking at that dude. I want to be here. So now I can click starting view. Whoops. No, I want to be over here. And now I say save. That way, when they start, they don't start looking at the guy. They start looking at the field. Again, um, I can add a point of interest. So this dot, I could put somebody here catching a touchdown, you know, um, TD, right? And I could describe that, um, what a catch, you know, what a grab. Now, I can add my images. You can also do audio recordings. This um, requires you to build the file somewhere else. You could do it on your phone and then share it to Google Drive and upload those files. So you could talk people through this story. You don't have to make this one all text. Again, I don't put an image in, I just put what a grab, and maybe I had another point of interest. This was the idea, we could do the Jumbotron and I could do a video or something about the Jumbotron. Whoops, and I can delete that, right? Uh, scoreboard, whatever. You have a couple options over here. You can move up or down, so you can manipulate these. You want this to be your first point of interest, so you can move things up or down. Um, you can delete points of interest. Now at this point, we might think we're done, so we can click publish. And I'm not gonna make this public because it's it's dumb. 
but let's publish it. Once you publish, it's now a living document. And I can click it, and I'm on the web, and I can see what I built. So my Sports Ohio is going to start in Cincinnati Reds ballpark. And I've got my dot, and I can click it, and my image shows up. And it says, hey, Steamboat. It tells you what you wanted. Then you go to your next scene, and again, I just said, what a grab. And I didn't do anything for the scoreboard. But you can spin around, and you can 360 see it. This, again, when you're done, if you share, now you can share to Expeditions, and it says, hey, connect your phone to the same thing. If you have Expeditions download, it will literally appear on your tours in Expeditions, and now you can see it in VR. So um, those are the two things. If you go back and look at your doc, I could continue to add these, but I think all we need to do is see the process. Um, there's a lot more you can do with it, but that'll get you started. You know, if you want to do a Google Earth tour, that'll run on any computer. So if I go back to that Google or Earth tour, right? Um, where's my... Oh, if I'm in my Google Earth tour and I go to present, the only link I need to show people is I can just copy this and share it. That will automatically open it up in anybody's Google Earth tour. And on this one, this opens it up on the web right? Or you can view your tour. So you'll be able to see your tour. It's here that you share it so you can get it where you want it to be. So that is the tutorial that kind of shows you about these two softwares. Hopefully um, you'll give one of the two a try. Um, maybe better yet, you'll have your students build with one of these two. Um, when kids make their own VR and can go home and show it to their parents on in goggles, it's pretty impressive. All right, that's it for today. Have a great um, rest of the day and rest of the week.